Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for my Pan That palette this year. As you probably noticed, I am wearing my glasses. I was also wearing them in my Turn and Burn update. No, not that video. In my Nightmare on Panning Street update with Valerie yesterday. And the reason why I'm wearing them is because I have an abrasion, corneal abrasion on this eye due to sleeping in my contacts. So don't do that. I fell asleep on the couch with my contacts in and woke up and my eye was all wonky and watery and stuff. It was not good. So anyway, I have drops I'm putting in there. I've been to the eye doctor twice and it's already improved. So we're doing good. It feels much better, but I probably won't be wearing my contacts for another week or so. Anyway, we do have Ziggy here today. He's taking a bath. My Pan That palette this year is a collaboration I'm doing with several other ladies to pan the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. I always link them down below. And I'm also doing the Better Together collaboration that Paula introduced this year. And for that, I'm panning the, Mid the Viseart Midsummer palette. And then I do have a Baby Pan That palette, which is this Wet n Wild Petalette Quad and it's looking pretty good anyway i did do a repressing and franketing video which i will link in the cards as well as down below that's going to share a lot of differences that you're going to see in this norvina palette it's a long video but i did do a lot there's a lot of changes with this so if you haven't already seen that i would recommend watching that first because then you'll see kind of all the changes in here so we're going to start with the Norvina palette. Ziggy's apparently needing a lot of attention. Hopefully he will stay there, but he may leave. Anyway, we'll start with this guy. So before I show you what my palette looks like now, let me show you what it looked like last month. And this is what my palette looks like now. Now, I, I don't I didn't take a good picture of my palette, so I have a screenshot that I showed you just now. Unfortunately, um, my apologies there. But you can see there's a lot of changes here. So this is almost finished. There's a little bit of shadow left in here that I haven't used yet. So it's not quite done. Almost finished. I should have used it today. Okay. We'll just finish it right now. I don't know if that changed my eye look, <laughs> but I went ahead and finished it. Why not? How does my hair look? Okay, there we go. It's done. Wait, let me do it this way. It's done. <laughs> so I have finished Celestial, which is awesome. And let's see, you can see there's a lot of Frankens here. Let me talk about the ones I repressed first. So I repressed Volatile. I also repressed this shade, this purple shade, which was in my wet and wild petalette quad so i've repressed that i repressed uh dreamer which is this one here and this celestial shade in my repressing video i did have have to repress that one because it had shattered a little bit so i did repress this one of course now i just finished it and then the other changes in here. So I did a lot of frankening, as I mentioned. Ziggy. So I took base, what was in here. Well, it's not the base shade anymore. It was my franken that was in the base pan. And I mixed it with some other stuff, including incense. And I made a new franken. So that's the one I'm working on now. This is a, a good, like, second crease shade. And then I took Summer and Wild Child and I mixed them with some other shadows from my Lorac Shine Bright palette. And, and like here you can see those are three new pans that I created with those shadows in addition to the white shade that was in my Viseart palette, the Midsummer palette that I had created a long time ago. So I just mixed a bunch of stuff together to create some new colors. So let me swap, and I didn't do this in the Frankening video, which was, well, I couldn't do it because I had repressed everything and they were still wet. But let me show you the new shades that I created and swatch these. 
So there are the four shades. I tried to create some shades that I could use in the fall and that weren't too warm. Okay, there are the four shades. So one, two, three, four. And these two are a little bit more similar than I'd like, but I'll eventually use them. And I, as I was swatching, I accidentally did that. <laughs> did that, whatever, it's fine. I'll, I'll just press it back in there, it's fine. <laughs> these shimmers in this palette are very soft. So they, you know, and I mix them with other shimmers and they, you know, they, they're still softer and like crumblier shadows. Anyway, so that is how this is looking. I'm trying to think I, what would be my goal for next month. I would really like to work on finishing both volatile and passion. I've actually been combining those two together for like an outer corner shade. And I do like that combo. And I would like to finish my franken in base the base pan and i'd like to finish dreamer that would be amazing so those are my goals we're getting to the end of the year i mean this is october i have three months to go with this palette and there's still a lot of shadow in here so i want to make sure i make some progress i'll probably also repress these two which is rose gold and dazzling to make it easier to work on so in terms of weight, this didn't lose a lot of weight because again, I added so much shadow to it, but it did lose some, it lost 0.1 grams. So I'm now down a total of 8.1 grams in this palette. Of course, I have added a lot to this by doing Frankens and those kinds of things. So I'm gonna use more than what was originally in here. But yeah, so far so good. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying using this. Like I may not use it every single day. Like I don't think I use this palette today at all, which was probably a bad idea, but I wasn't thinking about it this morning. But I use it most days, at least try to use a shadow or at least a couple of shadows from there every single day. All right, moving on. The next palette I'm going to talk about is my Viseart Midsummer palette. So let me show you what this looked like last month. And this is what my palette looks like now. So as you can see, the glaring difference is this white shade that was in there. I took everything out of this pan and frankened it with a lot of the stuff that you see in here. So, and I don't think I used it to franken this one because this is a new franken shade. I think I used like Summer with some stuff from my La Rock palette. Or maybe I used some of the white in here, probably. Anyway. So big change here is obviously this white shade is completely gone and you can see I have two new pans. <gasps> That's so exciting. I want to say I hit pan in this shade pretty soon after the update. And then and then this was the next one after that. I also repressed this maroon shade. So yeah, we're making progress. I also like to combine these two together to do that outer corner look, but I'll probably focus on the two that are in my Norvina palette to work on because I wanna make sure that I get those finished. This is more of a like, you know, if I don't finish this one, it's fine. I wanna really try to finish the Norvina palette. So let me show you what these two look mixed together. So yeah, it's not as dark on my hand, but it, once I get it on my eyes, it looks, it looks really nice. Yeah, it's a little better, yeah. That's a beautiful color. And then here's the, the Franken, right? Let me show you what this looks like. So there's the, the last Franken. These definitely look a little bit darker on the eyes than they do on my arm. I haven't really used this one yet, but I kind of forget about it. Like I, I need to remember to pull that one out to, especially in the outer corner, it'll be great for winter. So in terms of weight, that one, the Viseart palette decreased by 0.7 grams. So, so far I've used a total of 4.1 grams out of this palette. Of course, a lot of that was probably that white shade, you know, move from one palette to another. And then the last palette I was working on or that I am working on is a baby pan that palette. And that's this guy, the Wet n Wild Petalette quad i'm not going to show you a picture of what this looked like last month because honestly i've just been taking some of this pink shimmer and trying to incorporate it into other eyeshadows to franken i actually like it for that purpose it's a really nice 
color to add to other shadows to kind of lighten them up a little bit and make them a little bit cooler. So I do like that. I may end up keeping this around to continue to do that with and just have something that's, you know, available. I may end up, yeah, no, I think that's what I'm going to do. Unless I'm like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. I mean, I may decide to go ahead and say I'm done with this, but I think for right now I'm leaning towards keeping it and using it to franken because it's a nice frankening shade. So that palette lost 0.1 grams. So I've used a total of 4.3 grams out of that palette. And I think the total weight of this eyeshadow wise is 4.5 ish. So there's not that much shadow left in there, which is great. So that is my update. Kind of, this is going to be a short video. I feel like I'm, you know, humming along with the Norvina palette. It's like I said, I've got some pretty lofty goals with this one, but I think I can do it. I think I can do it. This one I think has the most shimmer left, like the most shadow left in the pan. And I may, honestly, I may end up taking soul and doing some kind of franken with it because the way that I like to use soul is with a another pink shadow because soul is very gray toned and I tend to go I, I like purples but I tend to like them a little bit oh, pinker than this so I may try doing something with that but I don't know I haven't been focusing on soul lately I've been focusing a lot on these warm shades since now it's almost fall. It's not fall here yet. It's still like 90 degrees, but we're getting into that season. Anyway, I'm babbling. That is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, I forgot to mention, I always leave a montage at the very end of how my palette has changed over the course of the, the year. So all three palettes, well, all three palettes, but really now I'm focusing on the two. So you'll see that after my extras. Hi, Mr. Zixter. Hey, buddy. Hey, baby. <laughs> You're cute. You're cute. Oh, look at you. Well, do you want me to pet you or you just want me to pet you? Not scratch, huh? Okay. So picky. Okay, bye.